I've just installed Num1 Desktop, and when I run Linux, I get this warning message about phantom process killing. So what is this all about? Well, every app in Android runs in a process. If this process spawns another process, the new process is called a phantom process. Since Android 12, the system enforces a limit on the total number of phantom processes that can run at the same time throughout the system. The default limit is 32 processes. We are running an almost complete Linux system within our app. That means a lot of phantom processes. Even though they are idle, they are still counted against the limit. This means that eventually, our application is going to be force closed. Luckily, we can stop this behavior, but we need to use ADB, the Android debugging bridge, to issue some commands that increase this max number of phantom processes. Changing this limitation won't harm your device in any way, and it is completely reversible. It will just allow Linux to peacefully open and run its processes. So, let's begin our simple walkthrough. First, tap on the phantom process killing icon. The first step explains the meaning of phantom process killing and how Android 12 and above limits them, potentially leading to Linux crashing. Tap Next. In the second step, the app will try to automatically split the screen for you so that you can see the steps on one side and easily apply them on the other side. Let's try. Great! Now we can start applying the first instruction, enabling the hidden developer options menu. Search for an option usually named build number. Now press the build number option seven times so that we can show the hidden developer options. Next, to jump to the developer options menu. Remember, you should disable it again after applying these steps. Can you see the developer options? Great! If the developer options menu is successfully shown in front of you, search for the wireless debugging option to enable its toggle button. Tap the option itself to open its sub-menu. Read this five-digit port number and enter it in this text box on the right. Next, find the pair device with pairing code option. Tap it to show our pairing code. Enter this pairing code in the text box like we did in the previous step. And finally, enter the pairing port number. Now next, the app will automatically issue the commands needed to increase the number of phantom processes. Congratulations! You finally did it! Now you can exit the split screen mode and enjoy a Linux free of sudden crashes. Now, if you're not going to use ADB any further, return to the setting menu and toggle the developer options to disable it again, just to stay safe.